Okay, so hi there, Aries, Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your March 2021 Love Monthly Forecast reading with me, Chrissy from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. So I have already pre shuffled all of the cards here with you, and I'm using the Light Sears Tarot, and it's currently my favorite deck. So, um, yeah, without any wasting time, um, let's just go in and see what are the energy influences that you might be feeling and experiencing throughout the month of March um, in a very personal level, especially in terms of your relationships all at the same time. So, um, we have the influence here of Pluto, so there is something here that is quite intense. Um, you might be... Uh, feeling, I kind of feel that whenever Pluto is in the mix of things, there is a sense of pressure that we are feeling and a, a situation wherein we are wanting to transform something, we wanted to change something, but it does not really mean that we are actually able to accomplish that here and now, but there is some form of struggle, you know. Pluto is like a teacher of some kind, like you know that um, the planet is actually influencing you, influencing your life in a certain area or angle in a way wherein you cannot really control th certain things. You know that something is changing, but you're not actually seeing it until um, later um, as you find on how this actually manifests for you. You know, it, it makes me feel that, you know, this is really more of a psychological kind of energy. Um, influence that we are going through at the same time because Pluto is actually ruled by um, Scorpio and Aries all at the same time uh, there is a form of intensity here and some form of deeper energies that we might be um, surrounding our own feelings you know it could be our urges you know animal instincts and all of that kind of energy so we have here the Three of Cups and the Temperance card all together. It makes me feel that, you know, there could be a situation in your life or right now wherein you are wanting to balance certain things and it might be having to do with your own emotions or with your career endeavors, personal endeavors. This could be a, a situation wherein, you know, you are facing the month wherein you have a lot of expectations and you are expecting that things will actually um, proceed in a way on how you have envisioned things to be you know i kind of feel that a lot of you guys are actually expecting some form of happy situations calming situations um you have some form of visions and you have a goal that you wanted to achieve in your in your life right now aries and with how things are, we have here the Knight of Swords wherein you have putting in the effort or at the very least there is something that, you know, that is pushing you to attain your wishes, goals, and dreams in life. However, I kind of feel that there could be some form of struggle in that, especially um, maybe on the first few weeks of March 2021. It's like, you know, uh, there could be a an element of frustration i would say because there is a sense wherein you feel ready you feel that you know this this should be the month wherein i should be getting something this should be the month wherein something needs to be um fulfilling and happy and all of that but you end up really contemplating and you end up really thinking what really is wrong you know am i having some form of bad luck or what is preventing my life from moving forward or you know in terms of relationship you are you know having these questions of why i, I am alone why i'm single uh, why i haven't really found the right person for me and you could be at that point of your of your life or in you there is some form of unhappiness in terms of your your relationships despite um of your own expectations so especially since, since we have here the queen of swords at the past it makes me feel that you know there are a lot of things that you are really demanding out of life and there's a lot of things that you have been patient on there you have been waiting on something um that is really you know the biggest element we are seeing here you have been waiting on something and you are expecting it to happen maybe within this month or maybe quite soon but 
at the same time, doubts are really coming into the sphere uh, of your mind uh, during this time, especially we have here the Four of Cups, which is, you know, uh, maybe thinking about the past or um, you're not really able to see what it is that you want to really have, you know, th the things that you want to manifest, bring into your life is not really with you. It makes me feel that, you know, it's quite a bit of a, a tricky situation because it makes me feel that you have done the work yourself. But at the same time, you're also seeing that, you know, you're also, you know, you're not really progressively taking action and making things happen in your life. It's like you have done the work and you're waiting for the results. You know, you're not really consistently working on a certain situation and that might be because of uh, of whatever venture that you're working on right now maybe maybe you cannot just do all the work by yourself you know especially when it comes to relationships i mean we can do all the work we can initiate things we can try to make things work for us but at the same time um when we're dealing with the relationships one person cannot save the entire relationship we need to wait for the other person to actually you know enter the scene and do their own work to um for things to actually balance out i would say and and for example, if you're doing uh, any magical workings, maybe you have done your spell work, for example, and maybe this is a time of waiting and you're having a lot of doubts into things. So um, it really depends on what you're going through right now. What I can see here very clearly that is that, you know, there is something that you really, really wanted to have. And even though that you know that you can achieve what it is that you have set your your eye on you know it's like in your heart within your heart you know that what your future holds you know that you can make it happen it's just that it's very frustrating that you're not really able to see it you know um in the physical world at the very least not right now so it's really, you know, giving you a lot of struggle, a lot of burden. And maybe this is having to do with thinking too much, feeling too much of, of the situation. This could be also a point wherein you know what you need to do, but at the same time, your body is actually not moving for whatever reason. And maybe that is because of some form of dissatisfaction or a lack of love for yourself. Um, we really don't know. I just kind of feel that this could be an energy we're in. You might have to really think um, or rethink about your own feelings, you know. Is your goals, the things that are in your mind still aligned with what you are truly feeling, what it is that you truly want? I kind of feel that a lot of you, of, of Aries people are going to be very nostalgic um, for the month of March and and this is actually very surreal because um, Mercury retrograde is already over and people would usually think that you know we are not gonna be thinking about the past anymore but from the, this reading that I'm getting here right now and maybe um, if you're watching this video and if you feel resonated with it and this could be you know talking about you even though that it's not really a trend to think about the past, you are thinking about the past and you're thinking about um, your own doubts, you know. Maybe there are unfinished business that you had in the past and you're not satisfied with how things are happening in your life right now, which is making you doubt, you know. Uh, whether it is the right decision to think about the past again, to think about that person, think about that relationship or whatever situation you're, you're working on right now, thinking about right now. I'm not really the person to say that it is wrong to think about the past. I'm not going to be like other readers that will tell you that the past is the past. You know, you should not be working on that anymore. Um, I personally feel that, you know, when people think about the past there is always a reason for that i mean human beings overall does not really do things w without uh, without reason you know 
and the reason might, might be logical or might be illogical and I just kind of feel that at the end of the day at the end of the road we will be able to find out why did we think about the past there are lessons and realizations that we are going to be coming across and that is just how I see this um I just see this really more about you struggling about something and this is really not meant to to put you down you know this is really more of a prediction type of a reading you know on what i'm picking up what i'm seeing so you don't really have to um to be hard on yourself you know if you're happy right now and you don't feel resonated with this reading you can just ignore it you know and show it aside um this is just for those who resonate with the reading and those that i'm picking up I just kind of feel that you are struggling or having this struggle of wanting to get what you want to have. And from what I can tell from this reading, no matter how you push, you know, forcing things is not really going to do you good. It's not going to solve your problems. It's not going to get you what you desire. You really need to wait. You really need to um, pace certain things in your life and most importantly i kind of feel that this is also a situation wherein if you feel you have done the work you don't really need to keep on pushing things in you need to also wait patiently for the results it does not mean that you need to be negative but uh, sometimes you can be also, you know, positive, be more positive, be more confident within yourself that you can actually make things happen, you know, think positively on something that you still have not seen or s something that is not yet within your grasp. But, you know, it's really more similar to law of attraction when you're doing law of, law of attraction work, uh, something is not yet in your life, but you have complete confidence and you have complete belief that it is something that is going, going to happen. And that is how manifestation and law of attraction works. And it gives me a similar vibe into this. You're also going to see here that, you know, um, your true feelings will be coming out to the surface of things. And there could be some form of news that might be coming in for you. Um, I would say that for some people, this could be a situation wherein you are going to be working through a lot about your own feelings, your own emotional things, and a lot of psychological elements that is happening within you. And there is going to be some form of realization based upon what you are truly feeling. And it could be something that you have shove away in the past. So um, there are situations here that is about moving forward into things we do have the chariot here and we have here the nine of wands the nine of wands is really more of a situation wherein it is preparing to sail a venture it is you know it is that it is um in traditional um tarot reading the nine of wands is all about it's either waiting or guarding on, on something so if you are a soldier and you know it, it it's as if you are expecting something to happen you are expecting something to occur you are expecting something to come so it, it gives that similar element so we are seeing here that you know there is something that is about to happen into our life and that is really what we are seeing here for you um there could be doubts and a lot of um emotions that is going to creep up on you but i kind of feel that whatever that you do within the month of march is actually more of a preparation to what is really going to be happening for you as a whole um maybe by the end of march or on to um april all those kinds of things wherein things are really going to be more interactive i feel even though we have mars and gemini right now sometimes mars and gemini can actually paralyze people because we are picking up a lot of things and we wanted to act on it but at the same time there's you know that weird feeling that is surrounding us that you know we keep messing up 
So uh, this is really more of the what we what I'm seeing here. It's like you you feel that you're ready, but at the same time you're not, and you feel you're taking action, but you keep messing up and falling down. And uh, you know, if you fall down, the most important thing here is to learn how to stand up and try again, do again. And this is really what I'm getting here. You are soon going to get what it is that you want, but you just have to go ahead and try again. And don't be fearful of mistakes that you have done in the past. You know, the least thing that you can do right now for yourself is to not do anything. Thinking and contemplating is actually pretty good, but I feel that you know, once you have done all of that work of your um thinking, um, once you have done all the work of contemplating on certain things it's very important that you also make action to really progress forward and do something um in a future um element kind of phase wherein make plans for the future take action for what the future holds so this is going to be a month of discovery for you there's going to be a lot of things that you are going to learn that you are going to be discovering on and at the same time this is an important time for you wherein i feel that you might be taking action or you are going to be able to express what you're truly feeling what you're truly thinking and maybe that is what is holding you back you have not been really totally honest with how you say things to people how you express things especially in terms of your love and relationship and this is the month we're in life is going to teach you how to express them the right way and to really tell this to people um whom you care about whom you want to send a message on so um yeah this is my reading for you guys aries aries sun moon and rising sign for your month of march 2021 if you do want a more personal reading just like this or something more specifically done for you you can do that by booking a session with me through my website in the stars like chrissy.com and i'll see you guys again next month goodbye